Hi, this is Stacy, and I'm going to share your daily devotional with you today. This one's called When Worry is Part of Your Personality. The scripture reading comes from Matthew 6, 34, and it says, Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. It says, his comment wasn't meant to be critical, but it immediately pierced my heart. I was explaining to my husband how worried I'd been about several situations and reciting the reasons why my worry was justified. He gently reminded me that worrying wouldn't help anything, and I quickly replied, but I can't help it. Then he said with a smile, I know you can't. Worrying is just part of your personality. Deep down, I knew I worried too much, especially when it came to my children's safety, their happiness, and situations I couldn't control. But I didn't want to be labeled a worrier, and I certainly didn't want to admit worrying was part of my personality. Yet, if I were being honest with myself, I knew it was true. Although I trust God and know He is in control, the human side of me often tends to worry. I'm thankful God isn't surprised by my worry and wants to help me overcome it. Jesus even addressed this very issue when he taught his followers in what we now call the Sermon on the Mount. In this teaching, Jesus shared detailed instructions for how Christians should live their daily lives and how faith should shape behavior, including how we deal with worry. In Matthew 6, 25 through 34, Jesus specifically told his followers not to worry about food or clothes because God would provide for their needs, just as he does for the birds of the air. This promise of provision and protection applies to all areas of our lives, including help with our problems and easing our innermost anxieties. Jesus knew the people at that time struggled with worry, just as we do. At times, it is hard to trust God with the concerns that weigh heaviest on our hearts. Instead of trusting Him to handle what we cannot, we waste the opportunities of today worrying about the possibilities of tomorrow. God wants us to leave our problems in His hands rather than let them become a stumbling block in our faith. Sometimes it takes a gentle reminder such as a husband's innocent words to remind me of this promise. I needed to stop holding on to my worries and quit continually reminding Jesus to be as concerned as I was. Instead, I should daily turn those worries into prayers. I have since committed to worrying less and trusting Jesus more and have experienced the freedom that comes with truly entrusting my needs to Him. Although we all have things in our lives that lead to worry and reasons to be concerned, what peace we can enjoy if we consciously choose to lay down each day's worries at God's feet and leave tomorrow's worries up to Him too. Please pray with me. Lord, forgive me for not trusting you with my problems and for letting my worry become a wedge in my faith. Give me the strength to put them in your hands and avoid trying to take them back. Help me to learn to trust you more and believe you are always in control of my life and the things that worry me most. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.